Wherever Swin Cash goes, she wins, boasting multiple championships at the college, Olympic, and pro levels. Now she's turning heads as VP of Basketball Ops for the New Orleans Pelicans. It's not lost on Swin what this means, not just for her career, but for other women seeking success on the executive side of sports. You know, I just feel blessed. Um, there's so many women that came before me that have molded me in one way or another that I've been influenced by or impacted by uh, that I I hold dear um, to me every time I come into work every day, um, when I'm speaking to young people or I'm speaking to other uh, organizations. I always talk about those that came before us because we do stand on their shoulders. I think my responsibility as we move forward is to make sure that those doors stay open for young girls that may be looking up to me uh, today. I think that's happening for sure. And you were in New York recently for the 25th anniversary of the Liberty. As a former player and exec there, what was it like seeing where the franchise is now and connecting with the current players? Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. And I, I give a lot of credit to uh, the CEO, Kia Clark, um, just really opening up uh, the doors to the Liberty. We understand they're in Brooklyn, they're under new ownership, but the love for uh, the former players was so real. And I really, really appreciate that. I appreciate it. The, the biggest part of it all was sitting down, being able to break bread and talk to some of the current players and really just try to pour into them and let them know that we're here as a resource for them. And I think that's one of the things that we haven't been able to do well in the WBA is to connect, you know, the the older generation to the younger generation that's coming along. And hopefully the New York Liberty doing what they did this year will keep that uh, door open and that avenue open for a lot of former players. I want to congratulate you on being a Hall of Famer. Um, as part of the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame Class of 2020, how was it finally being able to celebrate with loved ones this year and just reflect on that honor? It was a huge honor. I mean, this was... You talk about going through a global pandemic, you talk about all of the adversity was hitting um, our country, our world. And in that moment, it just felt so special to me because when I got the call that I was going to be in the hall, uh, I was a mom of one. And by the time it came full circle and I was inducted, I was a mom of two and both my boys were able to be there. And so it just really put a lot of things in perspective for me. And I just really just try to cherish the moment and thank those that helped me get there and that always were huge supporters of mine. So you were also part of the W25, a list of the greatest and most influential players in history of the WNBA. Certainly no surprise, but to officially see that distinction and recognition, how did that feel? Uh, that was uh, that was kind of surreal because you talk about 25 years of the WNBA, you play the game, you pour everything you have into the game, whether it's injuries or not, um, good seasons, bad seasons, you ride that wave and you don't know what it's going to be when you finish. But to know that you've been recognized as a player that also was impactful, not only on the court, but off the court, uh, that means a lot to me because I've always prided myself on making sure that I was a well-rounded player that could contribute to the game. So it was definitely something that uh, took me back a little bit. Six Huskies were on the list. Mm -hmm. What kind of pride do you still get from helping to build that program into a powerhouse and the rippling effects that's had on the game? When we came to Connecticut in 1998, we were just different. Um, the game was slowly evolving and changing and I give a lot of credit to that staff at UConn, Coach Ariema, CD, Jamel, Tanya. Uh, they really kind of expanded what UConn basketball was going to be. And they let these young kids come in and just get up and down the floor and have fun and enjoy the game and to play it in a way that, that we wanted to play it. And so to have six players now, 25 years WNBA, to be in that category, I mean, that says a lot about our university. And it says a lot how many Champion WNBA champions have had a UConn Husky on it. 